What's going on guys? I am Watch Chair Go and today Zach's trying to back up a Grom. Yeah, you should back it up more. Like all the way to the corner. <laughs> Perfect. So today, we're going to be mounting the new JBL Cruise, uh, which is a Bluetooth audio system that's supposed to mount on any motorcycle, onto the Grom. I don't know why, it's not a sponsored video, it's what's happening. Also, we're planning on being on the block with some Snoop Dogg once this is finished. Alright, so let's open up the Cruise. Here we go. Let's see what's inside. Uh, we've got two speakers. Here is one. Uh, some power cable, it looks like. A little 12 volt power. Uh, I watched the quick video on the internets and I saw that there's USB charging right here for your phone So that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got waterproof buttons uh, volume up volume down play pause power and Bluetooth pairing uh, Here's the other one It is not easy to get these out of this box Cool, and it has a little crossover cable that apparently connects to the back of the other one. Oh, it goes right there Sweet sweet. Uh, there's a bag and some hardware Hardware, hardware, hardware. Uh, are those instructions? Oh, that's a receipt. Don't worry about that, little guy. This is the JBL Cruise. Let's get to putting it on a Grom. And we found the manual, so that is good. A bunch of warnings, warnings, warnings. Nobody needs warnings. Normally you take your mirrors off the bike and then you put these on and then you put the mirrors back on, but we are not putting mirrors on because this doesn't have any mirror. Cool, let's see what fits. Harley Davidson. M10, M8, I bet it's M8. All right, here we go. I would 100% say this is uh, not M8. So let's put those ones back. Don't watch me put these back in the bag. I'm really slow. All right, M10. Wow, this M10 thing is crazy and is all taped up. They kind of went hard on that. There must be an M10 installation guide or something. Okay, so I'm assuming this just screws in here. And it do. All right, we're making progress. Let's see what you do once that's in. Cruise! M8, where's M10 installation? Designed for M8, M10, Harley-Davidson 1200. Disassemble mirror, screw that in, put the nut into the top. This is super complicated. It just doesn't say where to quickly put the thing. Is that it? Yeah. Probably is. Oh, this backwards screws into the speaker. Yeah. Oh, this is how you can adjust height. That, now it makes sense, okay. So let's back that all the way off, take this all the way off, and screw this all the way down in as far as I possibly can. I assume this is going to bottom out soon. There it goes. Cool. Alright, let's put this one on. Uh, this is probably this one, right? You think? What do you think, Zach? Mm, I think it probably doesn't matter. 30 weight? 40 weight? 20 weight. 30 weight sounds nice. How does this work? It's so bad. Okay, we got it. It's not that bad. But like, it's kind of bad. Okay. So then this, I'm hoping, can screw in. Yeah, there we go. So typically your mirrors would mount inside this stem, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to stick this bad boy off and go right around. That's the motorcycling way. Here's 14. 15. 15 or 16. Seven teens.
Can you use this other top nut to screw the yes, upwards? Yes, you can. I was just going to lock it in first. Yeah. Nice and tight right there. Kind of cool that it powers your phone too, huh? Does it really? Yes. Nice. It does. All right, while I'm doing that, you want to take the seat off the ground? Where's the hole? Uh, on the, the correct side. On the old correcto side. There it goes. I never take the seat off it. What are we thinking? Probably more like that, right? So they look like mirrors? <laughs> Look straight to you? Yeah. Pretty sure? Uh, that one come that one? in more smidge. Just a smidge? Smidge. One smidge? Yeah, right there. Let's pull off this here twisty tie and get some music going. All right, there's the first one. We're gonna zip tie that down the bars. Kind of go underneath it is my game plan here. Right over to this side, and then we'll throw this one on. And these, of course, quickly connect like that. They are keyed, so you know, be gentle because it is keyed and plastic, and those love to self-destruct. There we go. And uh, you know, nothing better than testing first and then installing later, so I'm just gonna commit. It's on. Uh, we should probably put this on a keyed ignition switch, but whatever. Uh, I need a phone. Okay, so we're holding the Bluetooth button. I don't actually know how to set it up. But uh, we're going to quickly look for something. Ah, JBL Extreme. Is that it? Or is mm -hmm. that at your house? house? It'll pop up on the, at the bottom. Hasn't sure. popped up yet. So many Sonatas in here, too. Yeah. Ah, push the Bluetooth button twice. Seems to be the thing. Hit JBL Cruise. It's connecting. I guess you guys can see all the devices he's connected to. And we are good. Uh, Spotify? What you got in here, dog? Got some dope beats? Mm -mm. That's it. We gotta play the tribute. This is Avicii. Here we go. See if it's good. Volume is... All the way up. All right, I'm gonna call that a successful test. We're gonna pull the wires off the battery real quick, route them under somewhere else, zip tie them up into the body, make sure it's all out of the way, and we're ready to go test this bad boy out. JBL Cruise Live. We're gonna route the wires real fast. Uh, we just took a, a little uh, gripper deal and ran it through the body of the Grom real fast because I wanna run it right along the throttle lines. So I'm gonna give this to Zach, and we're gonna poorly tape this onto another cable that we pulled through there and uh, pull it back through. So I expect this to work. Even if it is definitely not the right tape to be using, I don't want to leave residue on the wire, so I'm using masking tape. I'm uh, about that clean life. So here we are pulling it in beside the throttle cable. And now it's routed down through most of the body. And we're gonna pull all the excess wire in and put it right here. Now we're gonna connect the battery terminals to the battery for real instead of uh, just playing. And maybe I should grab the right Phillips. Thought a number three was gonna get it done, but apparently it's going to be a number two. And it feels like it worked. One down. Now for the positive. Luckily these things have like no current draw at all and it's been uh, very friendly and not very sparky. So that's basically it. Our power is connected now and we'll clean up the cable real fast. So clean. I may or may not bundle that up later. 
So for now, we're gonna go right around because I'm excited about this. And I feel like excitement comes before cleaning up the wire. And of course, the last step is getting the ground seat back on. There we go. Snapped in. This is an aftermarket piece, and that's why it doesn't fit very well. Aftermarket pieces are terrible. Uh, but we should be good to go now. That's it. JBL Cruise, Honda Grom, Honda MSX 125. We're ready to roll around and check this thing out. So I'll get some video right beside it. Zach's gonna ride this, and we're gonna go have fun. Let's party. Party. Yo, switch. <laughs> Best focus I refuse to lose no matter which step I choose.